she pop p pop p pop p pop k p a s a s a k p a s e what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz jamaicans this is a warning you young youths that come from jamaica move overseas and think say uh, you are going to get in any sorts of mix up maybe you did not initiate it get into any sorts of badness any sorts of gang activity jamaica and foreign are two different kettle of fish everybody in america arms up it does not matter if it is a state like florida that you can go into the store and buy any sorts of fire piece as long as you don't have any sorts of criminal record and even if you want a tool on the black market it is as easy as one two three no problem now people i am speaking about an incident that occurred at about 2 a.m in our queensland that place is called pure it is on marrick boulevard the man loses his life at age 23. he just came to america based on information when we get maybe about two years ago from jamaica that our people are tell me does not matter if him come two or twenty so therefore you don't have to go in my comment section and tell me say a two year and a half or three the point is that him left from jamaica and him end up d-e-a-d-i-n-g because of some sorts of mix up at best misunderstanding he is d-e-a-d -E at 23. there's a video or there are two videos that are circling on social media these are the videos that was taken from some sorts of cctv maybe from the club or maybe the adjoining building establishment business these videos are in the hands of the authority one of those videos that you see that is the same video where the authority meaning new york's finest have in these videos you could see the victim the jamaican in a some sorts of red orange looking outfit jumper not jumper sweatsuits then a next man have a hoodie there was some sorts of altercation argument talking the man go in front of him face and then me don't know if the man lick him in him face with the tool or him pop off one same time home boy 23 year old fall back him blaze him up me no know if home boy the victim people them did dead it to and all sorts of s h o o t out and so however in the video you could hear a whole bunch of can a pop like arville redding baka however there was a whole bunch of red upon the street is my point even in other video you could see after him lick him down face and him drop and him let off a couple of them him run apparently in a some sorts of s h o o t out and then him come back over the victim's body and him let off a few passing him go left and him let off a few passing him go right he was making sure that he was d e a d i n g i know that it is not a word if you're familiar with my channel you know sir we talk a little different than the rest of them that's why them copy we so anyways people the point is this it seems as if a lot of times and i don't know this man character so therefore i don't want to defame his character i am just speaking in general it seems as if a lot of these jamaicans whenever them come america if them did bother or not from them start the little hustle whether a little weed whether a little cocoa them have to find themselves a clique it's as if them find strength in number that is how i kind of know a lot of these gangs in a jamaica are cowards and i understand if the other people em, have a hundred people you probably need a hundred people too but me just a talk about where it start from from the foundation 
anybody that you know that is mostly successful in a, any sort of illicit activity, whether at the cocoa or whether at the weed, that person is usually a lone wolf. The people them love click up like them a hyena. In a crow and click and posse. Them are the ones who always get themselves in a trouble. And most of the time, the people that usually lose them life is usually the surface people them in the crew. Now again, my disclaimer. I am not saying that this man was any sort of P-U-N-K. Me just as a speaking in general terms. Based on the information that I also got, them call him bling. Some people call him bling as him have all whole heap of different name. Him at 23, me know that for sure. Based on information from the authority in America. It is said that some sorts of young lady call him and tell him to come outside at the club. Now apparently, this is a popular club frequented by Jamaican and also Yankee. You know there is a mixed culture thing right now. If the club are pop, meaning reggae and dance all are going in there, the people them who appreciate music, the Yankee them, them are going to go there too. So therefore, the people them were hip up to the time they are going to go there, the good, the bad, the ugly and the indifference, Jamaican and American alike. It is going to bring the people them that are involved in all sorts of illicit activity. So therefore, if you know say you're hot, if you know say you're warm, maybe you might not want to go to that club. However, again, like me say, Jamaican are the biggest set of yes people. People can draw them out. Them can know so them life in a jeopardy. Them can know so them in a problem with people. But because of entertainment, them get draw by the dance hall dopey and them end up there. The next point I am trying to make based on the information that is out there and people, this is word on the streets. Disclaimer once again, word on the street is not always a hundred percent. However, there is always something in a something. A lady call him and tell him to come outside. Now people, me no know if this lady just call him because she missed him and want to see him or there was some sort of setup. Most of the times, it is not just coincidence. Most of the time, what leads to the D-E-A-T-H and detriment, bad hell for most Jamaicans, most so-called wangsta, it is always the pums. The P-U-M-S always gets even who supposed to be gangster and smart always cause them for stray and jump off of the train line get the real meaning their life here is a good thing for the family of this man our friends are victim of this man in america there is a whole bunch of g-a-n-g-s a whole bunch of people that always act tough in America, there's a thing that is called every street corner. It have uh, some sorts of surveillance camera, CCTV, house cam, ring, anything you want to call it, it did it. So therefore, more than likely, anything that you see on social media, the popo has it. The popo in America, this is how they work. They don't just look at that camera. They look at all the cameras miles down the street. That means eh, whoever come for this man, they are going to see spot them park. They are going to see spot them walk. They are going to see spot them stop. They are going to see everything. They are going to trail back. This is not like the Jamaican eye, which is wide shut. And people, no disrespect to Jamaica eye. But me just say, them thing are really depend on them type of class. Eh, point blank and period. So therefore, to the family and friends of these people, I can almost assure you, and this is based on conversations that I've had with people that work with these people, the men in blue, New York's finest. Them have the video. So therefore, if them have the video and them see the man we initiated or the man that was in confrontation with this youth, you can best believe that within a day or so, they are going to pick up a couple of people based on the trail back or tracing of those video cameras in line 
coming into the scene of the C-R-I-M-E. So therefore, they are going to have name from the tag on that car. They are going to do their investigation, which them pretty much stay in our office, link up Department of Motor Vehicle, link up Customs, link up Popo, link up FBI. Everything is coordinated, synchronized like synchronized swimming. There's also a video of the S-H-O-O-T-E-R or S-H-O-O-T-E-R-S. The whole crew, when they were going inside this club, there's also a young lady that is with them. She is wearing a pair of jeans. This is the video right here. Take a listen. Take a look. So people, that was the video, a crew of maybe five or six, including a woman. This is the woman that was sparring with those set of men in that video. She was wearing a pair of jeans. This is her without the jeans, dressed up differently. What this tells you is that there is video footage of them even though at the time in which the S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G appeared or happened. In this video of them entering that club, everybody's face was clearly shown. So it seems as if in this mad rush, adrenaline rush, the badness rush, them forget say, but hold on a minute, we never enter the club, we never have on any sorts of hoodie. Or uh, we did not have the hoodie on our heads. People, this is going to be a slam dunk case. This is going to be easy as one, two, three. All of these persons that you see in this video, more than likely, will be charged, will be convicted of accessory to M-U-R-D-E-R. -E Unless, of course, which I expect, is that they are going to cooperate meaning S-N-I-T-C-H. Remember, like I said, America has a S-N-I-T-C-H culture. Even the people them were American, even the Jamaican them, even the one them we have big name of Jamaica and say them are done for this year and done for that era. Check the statistics, check the feds. Most of those cases in which them call themselves Showa are this or that, Whenever them go a court, somebody a go talk, somebody a go try save thine self. So my point is this, like the poor poor them in America say, after 48 hours, the chances of catching these criminals is greatly diminished. Within 48 hours, you can best believe them know the suspect them, them know a who, and even if they don't know exactly a who, whoever them draw down pan, that person I said to the poor poor, yo, I don't want any trouble. I'ma tell you right now. Therefore, him go give up whoever or she I go give up whoever. If a evening brother or if a our sister, it does not matter. Oral of the story is this. Whenever you get an opportunity to go to America, land of opportunity, take advantage. Don't mix up in a dirty bungle or else. You are going to end up two places in the big yard or even Wasara, the graveyard. These people were dead and like Jamaica, you can't come bad up any man and because you know say so you strap up. You have that great advantage. Everybody strap up. So therefore, if you know say so you not be like that, don't act and beat up yourself because when the people them come, when you attack, for them dog I go back and that is exactly what happened. He was on some sorts of speech, them they pan beat and T E A C H. So therefore him learn the hard way, the wrong way. Watch out for the girl them where you spar with. The same girl that gave the poem will make you get F U C K up in the system. 
Don't even talk about the system. The system don't play. There is no source of system error. Everything is coordinated. Everything is on full B L A S T. So, so therefore, watch your A S S or you will get F U C K in the system. Point blank and period. So, anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.